Hey, I'm Liam Runnels, Cryptic Crossword Setter at The Saturday Paper, and I'm here to talk to you about the art of cryptic crossword solving. Being a cryptic crossword beginner can feel a bit daunting. It feels like the clues make no sense and there's a lot of little tricks to learn. But what if I told you that the wordplay used in cryptic crosswords is actually all around us? And once you learn these little tricks, solving cryptics can actually be easier than solving regular crosswords. The sorts of wordplay tricks used in cryptic crosswords are things like anagrams, like act and cat, abbreviations like Saturday and SAT, acronyms like NASA, palindromes like race car, and homophones like nose and nose. The key for any solver is identifying the type of wordplay that the compiler is using in the clue, and often the compiler will give you a pretty good hint. A standard cryptic clue is made up of two elements, the wordplay and the definition. And if you're good at spotting the definition, which always appears at the beginning or the end of a clue, then you're well on your way to breezing through cryptic life. Anyone who's ever played Scrabble before understands the arts of anagrams. You take some tiles out of a bag and then you rearrange them to form another word. For example, what if you pulled a spider out of the Scrabble bag? No, not an actual spider. The letters that spell a spider, A-S-P-I-D-E-R. Now, if you're an experienced player, you might know that you can actually make the word despair out of those seven letters, which would give you a great score. This scenario could actually give birth to a cryptic clue. For example, depression afflicted a spider. Now, underneath this sad story of erected mental health, there is a hidden meaning. As we've discussed, all clues are made up of two elements, wordplay and definition. Not necessarily in that order, but the wordplay always contains a hint to show you what type of wordplay is being used. And we call that word a signpost. Depression is the definition, meaning despair. Afflicted a spider is the wordplay. And afflicted acts as the signpost, telling us that the letters of a spider are experiencing some sort of trouble. Anagram signposts can come in all shapes and sizes. Any word that suggests doubt, chaos, reform, change, damage, disaster or strangeness can act as an anagram indicator. Your challenge is to spot that word. To illustrate some variety, here are three more cryptic anagram clues about our eight-legged friends. A spider changed nappies, hoped to squash a spider, worshipped a spider perhaps. Now, the anagram signposts used in these three clues are changed, squash, and perhaps. As you can see, this gives you an idea of some of the range of anagram signposts that can be used to indicate that an anagram is the wordplay involved. As a beginner, your job now is to go out and get a copy of the Saturday paper or online at saturdaypaper.com.au Go to the cryptic crossword and pour over the clues, looking for words that might indicate disarray or change. You might even crack a few of these anagram clues and you'll be well on your way to starting your journey towards cryptic expertise. Join me for the Saturday Papers live cryptic crossword event. The details are in the description and I hope to see you there.